Ben's Fast Fireworks Tutorials. Hello, and welcome to Ben's Fast Fireworks Tutorials. As many of you have noticed that I got a new camera. But today we're going to be working on Vista effects. Some cool, neat little things that will show you how to create a neat little Vista effect in Fireworks. So first what we're going to do is we're going to start up Fireworks. Let's begin. First I'm going to show you how to create a basic reflecting thing, kind of like how Vista has it. So we're going to go over to our rectangle tool and draw a rectangle that kind of looks like a button. Even though it's white, what we're going to do is then select our gradient tool and then draw a basic gradient. So it kind of looks like that. And of course we can always change the colors down here to whatever we want. Maybe like a, I don't know, lightish blue color. Select our pointer tool. And there we go. We have our little gradient there. So we select that again. And we go down to our rectangle roundness. And then we bring it up to a reasonable amount. And as you can see here, it looks pretty good. And one thing, if you start out your document with a zoomed in thing, just hit control one to see your full size. So it may look a little bit off when you first do it. So we have our little button here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy that, control C and control D. So now we have a duplicate version over here. And we're gonna take our rectangle tool again over here and then draw a box through the lower half of it so it's cut so the button is cut exactly in half. And you can see that it has our default gradient in there, and we're gonna have to remove that by going down here, clicking solid, and we go over to our pointer tool and we hold down shift. So now both of these things are selected over here. And then we go up to modify. We go down to combine paths over until we get to punch. Go down here to our fill again and click on solid. So now that top part is white. And now we take our opacity and bring it down a reasonable number and it gives you a nice little glossy effect right there you can also add some sort of a inner glow and we don't want it to be too strong so we get a lighter color a little bit less of that You can just play around with these things until you get it nice color. You can see it's a little bit rounded on the edges now, that's what it kind of looks like. But of course, if you wanted to make this into sort of like a vista bar, you can take away that glow and take your rectangle and you have sort of a vista effect there. If you want an actual gradient effect for this it's a different story so if you want a gradient to look more like a vista bar let's say we can go ahead and create another box and again we're going to give that box a gradient And of course, we're gonna copy this again. There's also a shortcut, so you don't have to copy it and paste it all the time. Depending on your machine, whether if you're a Mac or PC, Control, Shift, D. Now what that just did is it just cloned it, so I didn't have to do a whole extra step there. And so now what we're gonna do is, with our first one selected, we're gonna take it and over to our rectangle tool and draw something so it's completely encased about halfway again this time on top and now what we're gonna do is we're not gonna change this again yet we're going to change our gradient from black
black to white. We take our gradient tool and we'll redraw it. Maybe something more like that. And then we'll hold both of them. So now both of them are selected right over here. And then we'll go to modify. This time we're gonna go to mask. Click group as mask. Now the reason that that didn't show up is because we have not altered this gradient. So as you see, if we move the gradient around, it gives it more of an effect. But what we're looking for is a solid effect here. If we change it to solid white, you can see it gives it more of a gradient effect there. If we go back over to our gradient, and we can change that. And as you can see, it only changes the top part. We don't want it too much like that. We can also give it some sort of a gradient like that. So, gives it almost like a little bit of shine on the top. You can also take your gradient tool and then draw it down like that. Give it even more of what a vista effect looks like. That's what you'll basically see as like a vista bar. And it gives you that nice little effect there. So it is slightly different from what you see up there. And now another glossy effect is that you can do is with like orbs. You can take your ellipse tool. Hold shift and draw a circle. Now we're going to give that a gradient. Again. Change it. How about this time we make it. A red one. So now we have a nice little right here. We're just gonna draw another thing about say that big. You don't have to hold shift this time. And we're gonna change our gradient down here so both sides are white. And one side we want to change its opacity down to zero. Click off. And now let's redraw our gradient. Then we go down to transform. These are some good tips that you can use. And flip vertical. So now our gradient is backwards. You drag that down to one major thing that we can do is add an inner glow. You want to soften that up by choosing a lighter color. And a larger softness. See that that might be still a little bit too And if you want it to look more like an orb and less like an icon, change this opacity down a little bit more so it just has a small effect there and then another thing that we can do is we have both of our things selected and we go down to our edge and we click feather now if we click off we can see that it looks more natural and if we hold both of those again and we bring down the feather looks more like uh, an effect that is more real it's not more of a graphic because that's actually what would happen if you actually have your thing so there is a the basic gloss effects that you can use in all of your projects or icons and uh, you can really do a lot with uh, this vista effect which a lot of people want to know how to do and that's basically it right there or a little shining glossy effect now another last thing that you can do is using the pen tool with like a box gloss. You have a basic little effects there. That's basically a whole bunch of glossy effects that you can do with fireworks. Okay? Okay, that's all for today. Look forward to part two, which is coming up soon, about creating some cool glossy effects with these new buttons and bars that we just created. Okay, see you later. Bye.